Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll be implementing a web service, SOAP web service using Apache Camel and we'll be deploying it on uh, JBoss Fuse. So the service that we'll be developing it will be a Apache Camel CXA web service and we'll deploy it on JBoss Fuse. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javainews.com. This is the tutorial that we are going to implement. So in this project, we'll first define a contract first web service using test.wisdl. Uh, in the POM file, we'll, we'll be using the wisdl to java command. Using that, in the com.java uh, news, these will be generated classes which will be used. So let's begin with the implementation part. Go to Eclipse and create a simple Maven project. Next, go to the pom.xml file. So this is the pom.xml file that we are going to use. The dependencies here used here are camel core and also camel uh, cxf. And also the packaging is bundle because we are going to deploy it on JBoss Fuse. We have used the plugin. Uh, org.apache.cxf this plugin is used to convert wisdl file to uh, wisdl file to generate java classes so the command is wisdl to java so we are going to develop a contract first web service we are going to use this wisdl so copy this wisdl file Next, we'll uh, create the wisdl file. So, here as I have uh, mentioned that we are going to generate a contract first web service. In contract first web service, the contract that is the wisdl file definition of operators and endpoints. So, we first define the contract using the wisdl file. Next, let us understand uh, what this wisdl file is. So, wisdl file is used to define a contract. This contract uh, we can define, uh, define the functionality into two parts what is to be done and how it is to be done. What is to be done will consist of type, message, port type, whereas how this functionality is to be implemented will be uh, defined using the binding and the service. So, let us have a look at each one of these. The types they contain the what are the input types that are going to be used. So currently we are just going to use the string input type and uh, we'll have two uh, elements of type. One will be the input SOA test. This will be the input message that we are going to receive and the other will be the output SOA test which will be the output message that uh, we have to return. Using this type we define the messages. Message again there will be two. One will be the input message and the other will be the output message. Using these messages, we define the operations in the port type. Operation is nothing but you can define it as the method uh, that we want. So we want a single method which will take the input message, process it and later return the output message. Next we define the binding. In binding we define how the SOAP message is going to be transferred. It will get transferred over the network. Here we have defined the binding as uh, as a document type. In the service section we define uh, how the user can consume this web service so we have exposed this at this URL. So these are the basic parts of the wisdom that we have seen. Using the data type and message we define the operation which is there inside the port type. Then we have the binding as to how this message will be transferred over the network. And the last we have the service where defined at what address this service can be consumed. So we'll create the wisdom file here.
next let us run the maven command eclipse colon eclipse clean install so if we run this pom file the visdel to java command will get executed and the classes will be generated from the test.visdel file so let this project run so yes yeah, we can see that uh, the classes have been generated from this visdel this class soa test endpoint it contains the operation name soa test which uh, has which takes the input input soa test and the output will be the output soa test so we have we had defined this in the operations in the port type here yeah, soa test with input test and output soa test as the output so this gets uh, generated in this class we are going to make use of this class when we define the uh, cxf endpoint in the configuration file next we define the other configuration file so this is the configuration file that uh, we are going to define here we have defined a cxf endpoint so this cxf endpoint it makes use of the classes uh, generated and also we'll have to give the visdel url using this endpoint we have uh, defined a camel route which will take the input from the cxf web service and it will just send it to the processor we have defined here a processor which takes the input appends welcome to the whatever is the input message and then again sends this message so copy this configuration file so here the structure should be first it we should have meta nf inside meta nf we'll have spring inside the spring we'll have the configuration file this is the file structure that jboss views needs so i'll name this as application context dot xml next we'll define the processor that is going to be referenced in this root so that we have defined it here so So we are done with the implementation part. Next, we'll deploy this on JBoss views. Build this application once. Next, go to JBoss views folder, bin, and start the views server. Next, we'll install the bundle that we just created. So, this is the bundle that we installed uh, it has started so our application that we created it is perfect 
so we have finished till here where we have started the bundle next we'll see what all services are deployed on a jboss views for this we'll have to go to the address localhost dot colon 8181 slash cxf So as we can see that currently only a single web service has been deployed. If we click on this, we'll see the Vistel file. Copy this address. Next, open SOAP UI project. Create a new SOAP project here. We'll name this as test SOAP and copy the path that we had copied from here so here type in your java news and hit the web service so we are getting back the result welcome is being app appended to whatever input we are sending so our uh, service has got uh, deployed correctly hope you have understood this tutorial the source code it can be downloaded from here Thank you.